As we saw in the last tutorial, Volca Bass is capable of generating multiple patterns at once through the use of the very flexible voltage controlled oscillator section. You'll notice three knobs within the VCO section, each labeled pitch. These knobs control the pitches for the oscillators, one through three. I'll hold function and press the step button three or M3. Doing this will instantly link all the VCOs. This is also readily audible when you hit a key or just play a pattern. You'll just notice that it sounds much bigger. When I start tweaking the pitches of the different VCOs, you'll start to hear the synth get fatter, bigger, and more powerful. And that's only when I slightly detune. If I, for example, turn VCO1 all the way up, suddenly I've got a higher octave working with my mid-range bass. And if I want to really increase the frequency range, I can lower VCO3's pitch and suddenly Volca Bass is covering a wide area of sonic space. In the third VCO grouping, which we are working in now, it is not possible to create multiple patterns for each of the VCOs, but there is one perk. What I like to do is start my patterns off in VCO group 3 and program the main bass line. When I do this, all of the VCOs are programmed with the same pattern. Now when I switch to the first VCO group, I can hear all parts playing the same pattern. And I can start programming over the two parts when I get a chance and building up the song. If one of the secondary parts doesn't come out quite right, or I just don't want to redo the part, I can simply hold down the function button and press button 15 under the clear subtitle and clear the individual part or sub pattern that I'm currently working on while leaving the other parts alone. And if I ever want to bring the part back, I just clear the part again with function button plus 15 and it's back. Now let's start taking a look at the two other groupings in the next tutorial.